undisputed one year later. That's right, it's been a whole year of undisputed boxing in early access. And just like my six month video, I want to go back and look at how the game has evolved over the last year during its early access phase. So I'm gonna be giving you my own personal take on how this game is looking, what it looks like for the future, and if we got what we were promised. To start off, I wanna say that I haven't actually touched the game much in the last six months. Unfortunately, I haven't found many reasons to go back and play the game, which is such a surprise to me, as this game was a huge one on my list. It was something that I covered here on the channel for years and years. One of my biggest draws as well. I got lots of good views through this game, covering it, discussing what was coming up. And then the game came out and the excitement kind of dissipated pretty quickly. So I was greeted with the update notice regarding the latest things in the game. A lot of hotfix notes, the addition of new women boxers that came out a little while ago. We've seen updated lighting recently in different arenas. We've also had the addition of Everlast as a manufacturer and sponsor to the game, as well as Riyadh Season. New audio has been added for some of the impact sounds. More blood is on show during fights. New coloration of bruising. Different cut positions. New blocking animations have also been added. And the addition of refs stopping the fight if one eye gets too swollen, which is something that we would see in real life in boxing. If an eye is closed shut, the ref is going to stop the fight. Lots of changes to traits. Different traits added different traits taken away, boxers swapping traits and getting new ones. They added a new feint system to the game where you touch the D-pad to do a feint for your upcoming punch. And I'll be honest, I don't like this change. I preferred the way it was before. It doesn't flow as well in gameplay now, in my opinion. So I think this is actually one of those steps that they've made that I don't like and I think they should go back on. You can now improve your stamina based on your previous round. If you wanna take a load off in one round, kind of take the loss in that round but gain your stamina back you can do lots of fixes to ai when you're boxing and that was the updates that i haven't seen since i last played the game and it was interesting when i actually joined onto the game to try and get in i noticed that the load times to get onto any of the modes seems to be a lot longer than it was before i'm not sure why that is i don't know what's been added to the game or taken away from the game that's increased the load times but yeah sometimes i'm sat waiting for three minutes waiting for the training mode just to load not even an online fight or anything like that i also noticed when i jumped into an online fight that the hit detection was slightly off i was noticing that my opponent was getting hits on me when they were nowhere near me in the ring and this is an issue that's persisted in undisputed boxing throughout its release and every sort of hot fix and every patch they seem to indicate that they've looked into this but it seems to be persisting in the game and it makes online play very difficult one of the issue that i keep having in the game and this could be personally my own setup i don't have the strongest pc setup but i cannot get a consistent and smooth 60 frame it runs better when I am in one of the arenas that has no fans. So in one of the gyms, if I fight there, then I do get near enough 60 frames per second. If I've got a crowd in, big arena, tends to take a bit of a hit and sits around 45. Maybe it's something that I need to look into with my own settings and my own hardware. I am due an upgrade with my PC, so it could well just be that. But you guys let me know in the comments below what are your frames like when playing Undisputed Boxing? I'd be interested to know and let me know kind of what kind of rig you've got what kind of tier are you running what would you expect to be getting in a game on your computer so other than that really there isn't a great deal more for me to discuss on undisputed boxing we're still in the same state that we were in when i did the six month update there's still only the offline mode of the prize fight and obviously the quick fights as well and while i am a fan of the prize fights and i've said in every video that i've done that the prize fights which get updated regularly are a really good idea for this game keeping that level of intrigue and new challenges for the players that's gonna wear off and as i say myself i've not been coming back to this game very frequently at all now of course it is only early access we have had a year of early access now but maybe we need to find something added now to the game just to give it a little bit more intrigue hype is kind of trailing off for this game and we were supposed to get the career mode that was supposed to have come out and again one of the last videos that i did about this game was regarding 
the career mode and the delay that got announced. We should have had it by now, but of course they had to delay it. Something like the career mode really would have given this game a big boost for the player base. So we're away in the career mode still, and they did delay it and said it should be coming around the corner. That is the next big thing that we need for this game. That's gonna be the thing that gives us a boost. Hopefully we don't have to wait too much longer because it did look very interesting what they had planned for career mode. In terms of online, you've still only got the ranked and the unranked, and I'm sure most players enjoy jumping into ranked and trying to level up. But again, there's sort of no progression to it. It's been the same thing for the whole year, and how much more sort of can you go with it? I appreciate the training mode that they have in there, and that's been in there for a while, how to box, simple movement, simple punches, and then teaches you a little bit more about how to link up punches as well. In terms of what the community are saying, from what I've seen, we're still seeing a lot of people calling out Steel City Interactive for the fact that they said it was going to be a simulation boxing game. It hasn't turned out to be the case that this game is a simulation boxing game. But a lot of the community have kind of just fallen into the fact that this is now really much more of a, an arcade style boxing game. Most of the fighters feel the same, apart from when they have different traits and things like that. That can add a little bit of individuality to the fighters. And we do have some fighters that move more in their own style with their own ID. For the most part, everyone sort of boxes a similar way. This is something that I think Steel City Interactive will address eventually, but many in the community are saying this is not what we were promised. One thing that we can't take away from this game is that it does look great. The graphics are fantastic. I've always said this right from when the game was announced with trailers and things like that, it's always looked great and I think it continues to look great. With the addition of more blood, the bruising decoloration, more cut positions as well on the face, it's just adding to that realism in the way that the game looks. And that's one aspect of the realism aspect that Steel City Interactive have gone for that I think they have got right. So really that's about it guys. One year later for Undisputed Boxing and we're pretty much in the same position we were when we started. Yes, they have fixed things that weren't quite working to start with. Yes, the game plays well enough now that you can jump on and have a nice time. They've addressed some things like individual health bars for areas of the face and body and made that into a two-tier system now. Or better or worse, whatever your opinion is on that. The one thing I will say is it has gone a little quiet on the Undisputed front. We haven't heard much from the devs now for a little time. I'm hoping this means that they're just hard at work at that career mode in the background, ready for that to go pretty soon. Hopefully it's round the corner. How do you feel the game has gone over the past year? Do you think it's in a better position now from when it was last year when it launched? Or do you think Steel City Interactive have completely missed the mark with this one? I'm really interested to know what you guys think. You always give me great comments on this game. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.